Hey everybody, Katie Pavlich here. We're in Washington, D.C. and this is 11 Questions with Coffee or Die. Sometimes black, but in the morning I do creamer and coffee and that's it. But in the afternoon, if I do a cup, it's black and iced coffee is usually black. In a regular old coffee pot, but I do the half size because I hate throwing coffee away. I'm going to say making a cup of coffee in China was pretty bizarre and extreme. <laughs> I'd say physically the hardest thing I've ever done is hike out a bunch of gear after a trip down the Grand Canyon. We stopped halfway and hiked out. That was probably physically the hardest thing because I had about a big pack on my back with all of our stuff. That was the physically the hardest part. Mentally the hardest thing I've ever done is get through college. Well, I believe in the Second Amendment just like I believe in the First Amendment. So what I'm doing every day with the news and commentary and practicing First Amendment rights that we have as Americans, I feel like, why not do it? And what I love about my job is that it's living history. Every single day is different. You're seeing something new every day and you really get to look back in a couple of years and say that you were there. You remember the times that you were there when these big things were happening. So I take my rights seriously, whether the second or the first or all the other constitutional rights that we have in this country. And uh, that's why I do what I do. I think the most misunderstood thing is that it's easy and that it's just maybe going on TV or being somewhat famous, I guess. I mean, people think that success happens overnight because they see you, but the truth is that it takes a lot of really hard work behind the scenes, lots of long hours and lots of people and teams to help together. I think success is something that is defined by each person individually and that's the greatest part about living in a place that we do is everybody can form their own destiny, seek their own future, and be who they want to be. So success for each person is defined differently. I would say success to me is making goals and reaching them or being presented with an opportunity that you then take on and do well at, which leads to other things. So I would think success is something that really is defined by what you think is going to get you to the next level of what you're engaged in. I'm going to say Mountain View as long as it's warm. I think I'd want to fly just because I went skydiving once and it was amazing and just to see the world from that perspective and to be able just to take off and get wherever you're going whenever you want, that'd be pretty awesome. Definitely don't want to read minds. Nope. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> I've taken up a hobby of running, which maybe people think that's not really a hobby. Obviously shooting, people know that I do that. Uh, other hobbies, I don't think I really have time for hobbies, honestly. Like I love what I do for my work and I fill my time with my dog. My dog's a hobby, I guess. Uh, driving around in the countryside, camping, hiking. I'm kind of known for all that stuff though, so I don't really have any specific hobbies outside of what I'm just doing every single day. But my rule is like, if you're not out of it after a month, like, I think I'm done. I've got, you know, survival food, I've got go bags, I've got all the, I don't have a bunker or anything, but I've got like the basics to survive for about three weeks. After that, probably dead. I mean, I know how to shoot. And having ammo, ammunition, and firearms is on the, the survivor list, absolutely. <laughs>